We're in the midst of a new era in WWE. Triple H now has the reins of WWE creative and lots of changes have been implemented across the WWE product. One of the most exciting things about the current product is just how many young talented stars they have on the roster. They have countless names they can build a future of the company around and some of them are destined to reach the top of the WWE ladder. So join us now as WrestleMania looks at 10 of the next big WWE mega stars. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new channel, WrestleMania Shorts. Number 10, Bron Brecker. On paper, Bron Brecker seems to be the perfect WWE superstar. He has a tremendous look and is the son of Rick Steiner as well as nephew of former WCW world champion Scott Steiner. He's been in NXT since 2021 and he continues to grow and prosper in every match he's placed on. WWE have put a lot of responsibility on his shoulders as he is virtually the face of the entire NXT brand and this could have seriously damaged Brecker's credibility and legitimacy as a top guy if it backfired. Thankfully though, he's excelled in the role and it's evident that Brecker is going to be an absolute megastar when he's eventually called up to the main roster. Number 9. Butch Butch aka Pete Dunne has a reputation for being one of the best wrestlers in the world. His in-ring work is consistently stellar and despite an infamous name change on the main roster, Butch has continued to show that he has the makings to be a top star for WWE. With Triple H now running creative and Triple H admitting how big of a fan he is of the former NXT UK champion, it's only a matter of time before Butch ascends up the card in WWE. The 2023 Money in the Bank pay-per-view is set to take place in London, England and with Butch being English, fans are already speculating that he could be a firm favourite to win the illustrious matchup. Number 8. Roxanne Perez At just 21 years old, Roxanne Perez has already cemented herself as the future of the women's division in WWE. Her in-ring work is a standard of a 10-year veteran and it's insane to believe that Perez has only been in WWE for one single year. Within months of Perez wrestling on NXT, there were calls from fans to see Perez called up to the main roster. There were and continue to be calls to see Perez wrestle the likes of Becky Lynch and Bianca Belair because she already has everything it takes to be the face of the women's division in WWE. She would win the NXT women's title in late 2022 and it was made clear that NXT officials wanted Perez to become the new focal point of the NXT women's division, so it looks like a main roster call up isn't on the horizon just yet. However, with Perez being just 21, the future is bright and WWE clearly know that they have a special talent on their hands. Number 7. Pretty Deadly Pretty Deadly consists of Elton Prince and Kit Wilson and they've taken NXT by storm over the past year. Both members are in their 20s and their tag team work has already received widespread acclaim. Simply put, Pretty Deadly are the future of tag team wrestling in WWE as they are an exciting charismatic team that main roster fans are truly going to resonate with. Their work with the New Day has received particular praise as Pretty Deadly have held their own and Kofi Kingston acknowledged the talents of both Prince and Wilson during an interview with Sports Illustrated. Pretty Deadly are so talented and they're going to be even bigger than they are now. It's all about getting experience and getting in there with experienced superstars, then spreading their wings to fly. Anything we could do to help that, we're here for it. We want them to flourish, that's what we're here to do. I'm looking forward to mixing it up with them again. Number 6. Carmelo Hayes since debuting on NXT in 2021, Carmelo Hayes has become an instant fan favourite. Hayes is one of the most exciting, thrilling wrestlers in NXT and there continues to be demand to see Hayes called up to the main roster. Hayes has every tool it takes to be a top star on the main roster. The only thing holding him back is head of NXT Shawn Michaels who doesn't want to see him go because he is that important to NXT's brand and vision. One legend who has spoken at length about the talents of Hayes is Booker T. Booker, who is a commentator on NXT, has seen firsthand just how gifted Hayes is. And this is what Booker had to say on an edition of his Hall of Fame podcast. Carmelo Hayes, uh, he's one of the guys that I want to see get to that next level and, and, and literally just kick it in. I want to see this dude, you know, um, on that next level. In order to get to that next level, you know, you got to have somebody in your ear sometime telling you how good you are. You know what I mean? Um, patting you on the back and said, man, that was a hell of a job. You know what I mean? I, no, no, I need more of this, not that, you know. Number five, Solo Sokoa. A clash at the castle 2022 saw the main roster debut of Solo Sokoa. Sokoa had achieved moderate success on NXT and he was being thrown in at the deep end as he would instantly become a member of Roman Reigns' bloodline stable. 
Sokawa has thrived in his role as his persona of a menacing, silent enforcer has been applauded by fans and his in-ring work seems to be growing week by week. Sokawa's association with his cousin and brothers in the Bloodline stable have given him a rare platform to become an instant star and to credit Sokawa, he has offered something unique and different to an already popular stable. He's set for a huge 2023 and there are already rumours of him being a firm favourite to capture the Money in the Bank briefcase in the summer and possibly even dethroning Roman Reigns. Number 4 LA Knight When LA Knight debuted on the main roster, fans were disappointed that WWE had decided to repackage the talented star. Knight would become Max Dupree and would lead a male modelling agency. The gimmick fell flat and Triple H quickly realised that he needed LA Knight to simply be, well, LA Knight. The lackluster gimmick was eventually dropped and Knight was allowed to use his old NXT persona on the main roster and since reverting to the LA Knight persona, his work on the main roster has been outstanding and his promo and character work has been some of the finest on display across the entire company. Knight has been involved in a heated rivalry with Bray Wyatt and he's managed to shine while still managing to keep an aura around Wyatt's character and mystique. WWE see big things for Knight and it was apparent on the Raw 30th show as Knight shared the ring with The Undertaker which is a clear sign that he's set for superstardom. Number 3 Montez Ford It's been no secret that Montez Ford has aspirations to become world champion in WWE. Ford brings a lot of life to the WWE product and his in-ring presence has continued to grow over the past few years. Many WWE fans believe it's time for Ford to break away from the Street Profits and create his own legacy. This isn't to say that Angelo Dawkins doesn't have potential to be a solo star as Dawkins has continued to improve in the ring and he should be fine if WWE decide to break up the Street Profits. A forward has an exciting moveset and his frog splash is up there with the very best versions of the popular move. Ford has shown in singles matches with the likes of Roman Reigns that he has star power as a single star and more importantly he can hold his own against the very best in WWE. Number 2 Rhea Ripley Rhea Ripley has already reached great heights in WWE. Despite being only 26 years old, she has already won the women's title on two different brands. Ripley has been portraying a heel character as late as part of the Judgment Day faction and this allowed fans to see a more villainous side of Ripley, a side which she has thrived in. Ripley has years upon years left in WWE and she is without question one of the most well-rounded wrestlers in the women's division. As WWE go forward into their new era, Ripley is likely to emerge as one of the faces of the new administration and she is likely to be cemented there for a very long time. And number 1 Austin Theory When Vince McMahon announced his retirement from WWE, fans believed that one specific wrestler who would end up losing his push would be Austin Theory. Theory was McMahon's hand-picked chosen guy and it was even reported that McMahon as well as other WWE officials believed that Theory could be the next John Cena. Theory got off to an interesting start in the new era as he would randomly cash in his Money in the Bank briefcase on Seth Rollins for the US title and he ended up losing his cash in match. This traditionally signals the end of someone's push in WWE and fans feared the worst for him. But what followed was some excellently delivered character work. Theory now had an edge and WWE went back to the drawing board with his character and presentation. To say that Theory is in a better place following losing the Money in the Bank briefcase is an understatement as he's constantly main eventing Raw and getting huge wins over the likes of Seth Rollins. Theory has proven his critics wrong and it looks like the new era in WWE is going to see wrestling fans witness Theory finally becoming one of WWE's top megastars. But there you have it folks, 10 next WWE megastars. Be sure to leave your comments down below I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.